Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. From hell, and he is back on the job at Pinellas County. Hear me now? All right, this is a contractor you're seeing behind me. Actually, this is a customer, but we're talking about a contractor, Pinellas County. People don't like him too much. He's back on the job despite years of state and local investigations triggered by dozens of consumer complaints against him. Now, you paid for all of these investigations, and that's why Mark is on it tonight. Now, this guy we're talking about, his name is Metz. And I remember you doing a story that basically Pinellas said, this guy's out of here. He's not going to be doing any more work in Pinellas. And here he is again. What's going on? Simple answer to that, Keith. He's using, working under somebody else's license. Now, our investigation determined that's perfectly legal. But former customers insist that doesn't make it right. Last spring, the county licensing board basically banned Rick Metz from running construction jobs in Pinellas. So imagine our surprise finding Metz at this Clearwater job site. Hey, Rick, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Good, looks like you got a new project going here. Metz is not only in charge, he's also vice president of the construction company and working under that company's license. That's all perfectly legal, even though Metz still owes Pinellas County $22,000 in fines. We're not out of his life yet. Pinellas Licensing Board Director Rod Fisher has spent years investigating Metz. The jobs just languish and don't get done. Fisher insists it's now up to the state. We have forwarded our documents up to the up to the state and hopefully they'll move forward. Over the course of an entire year, the state agency you pay $152 million to protect consumers spent a total of just eight hours investigating James Moncrief's complaint against Metz. We had to tear out everything he did, everything he did, tear it completely out. But after Metz declared bankruptcy last July, the state dismissed that case. We pay the Department of Business and Professional Regulation about $150 million a year to protect consumers. Did that agency protect you? Not that I know of. Terry Taglia doesn't feel protected either. Metz remodeled her bathroom without a permit, dragged it out for seven months, and according to Taglia, he botched the job. Because right now, he has a clear and active license and good standing with the state of Florida. It, 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 that's astonishing. That's really amazing. And remember the bankruptcy that got Metz out of trouble with the state? Well, Metz swore to the court he drives an 18-year-old Ford van. But we just saw him behind the wheel of a 350Z, which he didn't stick around to explain. Nice wheels, too. Well, Metz is going to need his new sports car to get around town. He has a bankruptcy hearing in Tampa coming up and a million dollars worth of creditors trying to chase him down on all of his bad debts. Meanwhile, Metz is state licensed to operate anywhere, but Pinellas County is clear and active despite dozens of complaints by frustrated customers. You just heard one of them say, that's astonishing. I have to agree with that. Yeah, it almost seems like a loophole, but it's legal. He's doing what he's supposed right. to do, but you have to wonder if the state's going to actually try to crack down on Rick Metz in the future. Well, as we pointed out, the DBPR, which investigated Metz, blew its investigation with that foot dragging. They invested a total of 15 hours over a year's time, so they beat them to the punch on that. But we understand that our investigation is getting some attention in Tallahassee, so stay tuned. There may be a change in all of that. All right, a follow-up perhaps to come. Thank you, Mark Douglas.